Penny crayon can draw anything she likes, like cats and dogs and crocodiles and juggernauts and bikes. But Penny's magic drawings are not like any other. They walk and talk and come to life, creating lots of other scribbles. Now, children, everybody got their sunnies? Uh, yes, sir. Spending money? Uh, yes, sir. Raincoats? No, sir. Well, it looks fine. Uh, right into the coach, and no fighting. That applies to the boys as well. Right, attention. <clears throat> now, listen very carefully to what I have to say, children. We're on our way to the Waxworks Museum, and I want no nonsense from any of you. Particularly, as we have the added attraction of seeing that famous TV soap opera star, Gloria Devine, unveiling her Waxworks image. And for goodness sake, don't touch any of the models, as they are very easily broken. Come and go in the chamber of horrors. No, you can't. You'll all have nightmares for a week. I've asked for that area to be roped up. Flipping. What's the point of going to a waxworks if you can't go in the chamber of horrors? Oh, look, Penny, we've arrived. <laughs> Keep together, children. Follow me. Follow me. Follow me. Henry VIII, Queen Victoria, Winston Churchill, William Shakespeare, <laughs> isn't it boring? Yeah. Oh, oh look, Penny, there's a time of horrors. So it is. And that rotten old teacher's had it roped off. Oh, come on, Dennis, I'm going to have a look. But, Penny, we'll get lines. Rubbish. Come on. Oh, it's really spooky down here. Well, uh, that's it. Uh, we're all ready. Uh, we've got plenty of time before the glamorous Gloria Divine is due. Uh, come on, uh, let's go and have a cup of coffee. Come on, everybody, come on. It anyway, it's written on this plinth. The Phantom of the Opera. Who oh, crumbs? Oh, smash it. I saw that last week. It's ever so good. Ah, drawing. I know exactly what it looks like. No one will notice. Oh, it's horrible. Now, don't be frightened. It's only a drawing. Drawings won't hurt you. Drawings are fun. I am the phantom of the opera, the opera, the opera. Oh, don't shut up! And don't you dare move. Just stand stood still on that plinth while we get out of here. Come on, Dennis, quick, before someone misses us. Getting out of here. It's far too spooky for me. Yeah. 
It's so bright in here. There's far too much light for me in here. Oh, I'll cover myself with this cloth. Oh, thank goodness nobody noticed we'd gone down the Chamber of Horrors, especially after you breaking that statue, Dennis. Do you think they'll notice we've replaced it with one of your drawings, Penny? No, of course not. My drawing was probably better than the waxwork figure you broke anyway. Come on, children. Gather round. It's time for the unveiling. <gasps> Look, here comes Gloria Divine, the TV soap opera star. <gasps> oh. Isn't she adorable? Come, she'll never see fortune again. Shh, Penny, she'll hear you. Move those kids of yours back. <clears throat> uh, ladies and gentlemen, we have great pleasure in introducing that fabulous TV star, Gloria Divine, who will graciously unveil this wonderful likeness of herself in wax. Uh, stand well back. Hello, darlings. This is me, the real me. Out of my way, oh. rat. Oh, just look at that. What a rotten, mean old thing. Yah! Boo! When you're ready, Miss Divine, show the waiting public your likeness in wax. Now you see one great beauty. Now you see two. <laughs> oh, Crumbs, it's our phantom. He didn't stay in the chamber of ours like he was told the rotter. What was that horrible monster? It's ruined our presentation. Quick, after him. Uh, uh, call the police. Uh, call the fire brigade. Oh, Flippy Nick. Quick, come on, Dennis. We'd better rescue that rotten glory divine. Come on. We'll never catch him, Penny. Yes, we will. We'll have to rig up some kind of trap. Whoa-ho-ho! I am the phantom of the opera. The opera. The opera. There he is, Penny. How are you going to get him down from there? Hang on a minute, Dennis. I'm thinking. Do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. I've got it. In the show I saw last week, the Phantom played opera music on a huge old-fashioned pipe organ. It was all gilt paint and twiddly bits, like this. He's so corny, he can't refuse to ham it up on the organ. This'll fetch him down, Dennis. Music, organ music, I must play. It's working, he's coming down, quick. Hide behind here. Sit there and listen to some real music, my dear. It worked. We've got him down. Now give him a couple of seconds and I'll dash out and rub him out with this duster. Look, Penny, the soap we start are washing the organ and the phantom out as he plays. I always said his playing was a washout. <laughs> it's a good thing I didn't use waterproof crayons, Dennis. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> He's made soap stars of us all, Dennis. He must be the phantom of the soap opera. Get it? <laughs> oh, that's a good one, Penny. <laughs> <laughs> the phantom of the soap opera. Oh, it's a good one, all right. <laughs> And he makes a good, clean ending, too! <laughs> 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 <laughs>